Oh, Mimi, yeah, they're definitely going to be facing some resistance this morning. We've actually since moved out of this area. I'll step out so that you can see it, but they've taped off. People have come out of this encampment. They've taped off this area at 11th and Pine, uh, hoping that people won't be able to get through that area. So we have actually moved out since then. Uh, but yeah, they will definitely face some resistance this morning from everything that we're seeing. That sweep is supposed to happen in less than an hour here. So that's supposed to happen at 730 here at Cal Anderson Park. So not only will workers from the city be here, but also advocates uh, for people living in the park who are already here, hoping to stand together in protest of what's about to happen here. So this is some video we do want to show you from Sky King as it flew over the park just yesterday. Cal Anderson Park closed in late June so the city could repair damage from things like fire pits, graffiti and fencing. So people have been living in the park for months now and advocates are saying moving them out is cruel. In a statement from community activist Eric McDougall, he said forcing the homeless out will prevent them from getting medical care that was supposed to arrive at the park on Friday. The CDC guidelines for encampments during the pandemic urge cities to allow people living in encampments to remain there if individual housing options are not available. According to those guidelines, clearing encampments can potentially spread disease. So the city says that healthcare workers and other outreach workers are going to be providing support and services for people who are being moved out of this area. Again, a lot of people are already here. They've taped off the area at 11th and Pine. They do not want to leave, but that is expected to start at 730 this morning. We will be live right here on King 5 News. That'll be on Kong. Live here in Seattle, Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News.